Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 5 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos, both in this series and in my previous series. They will be linked in the description below. And as always, like and comment, subscribe for more videos, let me know how I'm doing. And without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into episode 5. So we're just taking a look at one of our horse-drawn carriages delivering timber from the bridge house uh, sawmill over to Honnington to make tools. And it gives us a good opportunity to take a look at some of the decorating that we did off camera. Um, just kind of make this look like it's a bit more coherent. Ties in really nice with the sawmill. Got some storage buildings. Looks really nice. And then if we come down here to the tools factory, just kind of integrated this, some cargo on the platforms. I put in a little uh, general goods area that does leather work. So if anybody were to break an axle or you know need some work done, there's a place for it. He's got some stuff in the back that he's selling. So that's great. Now, if we hop over to Dudley, you'll see that there is no ship on this line. So if we go to the Dudley Clune shipping line, there's no ship on this line. I deleted it. Uh, I let this game run extensively for quite a while. Um, after I had done, or while and after I had done the, uh, the decorating after yesterday's video. And I just never got any passengers. I think I got one in like an hour. Um, so, I don't know. I was doing some research online and found that... Some people thought that, or suggested that there was a maximum time that a passenger would travel before they viewed a route as not uh, feasible. Some people thought it might be the frequency. Um, I'm not sure if it was the frequency because at one point I had like six ships on there just to see if that would fix it and uh, it didn't really seem to do it. So I'm not sure. I'll, I'll leave the harbors in and if you guys have any ideas, I'm more than happy to try them out. Um, but for now, I think we're just going to go without that ship and we'll just, uh, we'll just move on doing what we're doing. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to put in, um, a, the shipping route that we did in the previous video. And you see, I already dropped a Harbor down in here. Um, just cause I was, I was playing around with it and I forgot to take it out. So that's good. It's already in there. So let's go ahead and get this set up again. And we will see if we can get it to work this time. So we'll go ahead and put a road in right here. And I'll curve that up and in. That looks good. And now we need to come over to here. And we need to put a harbor in as well. So let's see, if I spin this around... I want to bring it kind of as far off as I can, and I can always terraform back out to fill in that gap. Let's let this speed up. Also go ahead and turn the time on. And then we're going to have to reconfigure this road like we did last time, so why don't we go ahead and do that. So I'll bring a straight road up. Now let's get one good-sized platform in here. Maybe like there. Now we're going to want to re-establish this connection right into here, just so that it fixes those lines. Perfect. So now we have enough money to put this other cargo platform in. We'll go ahead and delete that. And now we can go ahead and put in a road here. 
curve that up and in so that it's in catchment with one another. Awesome. We're going to need a little uh, ship depot. So if I put that in like right there, that'll work. And now we can go ahead and establish our line. So from Warminster Port to Retford at Warminster, definitely wait for a full load. Maybe I'll say 120 seconds. And this will be a ship and we'll go Warminster to Retford. Don't really like that color. Maybe I'll make it purple. And now we can look at, actually let's establish this, uh, sh this vehicle the fuel drop off. And I'm thinking if they come down this side street right here, that'll work. Down here would also work, but I don't want them blocking the buses, so we'll probably go like right here. Yeah. Another thing that I also noticed is that we've got a ton of people wanting to go to Ashby and Coinsboro from here. Um, so we're going to try and work on that later in this uh, episode. So now let's establish a line. So this is going to be a Retford fuel. So I'll make it kind of orange. So this is going to be a truck route. Retford fuel. And at the refinery, I want them to wait forever. So let's go ahead and get some cargo vehicles on there. These flatbeds can move fuel. Um, I'll probably use the covered covered wagons. I might get like two on that line just for now. And now let's see what kind of ships we should do. So the Riggy and the Wilhelm both have a capacity of seven. Uh, the Wilhelm is the cheapest, but it can't move uh, refined oil. So I'll probably go with a Riggy, I think. And then we'll see. I don't want to jump to either of these. Well, the Zoroaster, that's what we used before. It's only a little bit more expensive than the Riggy. 6,000 more expensive. And the price, it's actually, yeah. So I think we'll, I think we'll go with the Zoroaster. Just once we get enough cash for it, I think that that's going to be good. Um, although the Riggy is a little faster, I don't know. Truthfully, truthfully, I'm not sure, but I think we'll go with the Zoroaster. If I had to take a guess. Let's see if we can get that ship on there. Just pause really quick. So now we'll put that on there. And this should start producing oil. It is. Very good. And hopefully this train can keep a better supply. Um, I would like to double this up, but the problem that we have is that we really only have a short window in which to put a pass through it would be right here and I just don't know if that is enough space to let these pass through I could double up like these two bridges and just have a single bridge coming across but let's see how one train does getting this loaded up Basically what we need is we need this train to make two trips for every one pickup of fuel, of oil. And I, I think that we can do that. Um, I think that that will work. So we've got these two vehicles waiting here to pick up fuel, which is good. And now what are some of the other things that I was hoping to do today? One of them is 
I would love to extend this rail line um, down to Coinsboro. It's getting really good traffic. Um, and if we could extend it down to Coinsboro, I'll probably break it so that there's a rail line running from Dudley to Redford to Coinsboro, and then a separate line running from Dudley to Stafford to Honington. Um, because Stafford and Honington have much higher passenger numbers, um, and Dudley actually, than Retford um, and maybe Coinsboro. I don't know, we might be able to merge those at some point. Okay, so we just got the delivery. I don't know if this guy's going to stick around long enough to, to pick it up, but he might. He'll probably get a good amount of it before he uh, heads off. Let's see, 60. All right, so he left with, how much did he leave with? 62. All right, that's not terrible. Um, hopefully, now that he has to do the full run, we'll get a full load of oil onto that platform with this train. And I think we will, uh, which will be good. So extending this passenger train, we're going to have to move this road. And then I'm probably going to snake the, the rail line right behind here and then bring it right down the coast. And probably put a station like right in here. So this is going to be really expensive to do because we're going to have to delete out probably this road, which is probably going to cost us 375. That's actually not terrible. Because we want our station to sit right in here. Right like that. Yeah. That's what we want. Um, I'll probably... I don't know. The good thing about this road is it's taking all the civilian traffic off of this road. So this is only being used by our carriages, which is good, which are running completely full because we have a ton of people wanting to go up to Ashby. But that's good. Let's see how, let's see how this guy does. What are we thinking? 62 fuel? One fifty-five? It's not bad. I'm hoping we can get a bit more on a shipment than that. Um, and I might I might double this up. So I might take a track, I might do a section here and then a section down here and see how that works yeah so let's see so if i take a track the thing is i really don't want to do the merge really don't want to do the merge on the bridge. So if I did it there, that would drop the train to 18 miles an hour. It's got too much curvature anyway. And then you can see it collides with the bridge. Could do it like that. Hmm. I don't know. We're probably going to just let this run for a little bit. Let's see how much he's going to get. So, train's coming back right now. He's already at 59, which is right around where he was last time when he left. So, he's definitely going to get more than that. Um, but the question is, how much more? At least he ran a profit in that last trip. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see how he does. All right. So let's think about laying this track. The other thing that I wanted to establish was this machines production up here. And why don't we actually do that first? Because I think we need some more some more freight going to make us a little bit a little bit more money. So first off, we need timber. 
So we have logs here and timber here. That's easy. So we'll just go ahead and we will connect these up. Let me just see if we have any terrain in between here. We don't, which is good. So we'll just connect these in. And now we're gonna need a couple stations in here. So I'll probably put one running right up the side here. I could actually put it in front and then it's probably gonna do some, oh, it's not gonna do anything to the terrain, that's great. So I'll just go ahead and put that there. And we are going to need a second platform here. I actually just thought, uh, so that's definitely gonna do some terrain stuff, but that's okay, I can fix that uh, once we get a little bit more money. Man, that's gonna be really expensive to put that in. It's probably because of the terraforming. So we'll establish uh, timber coming in here, plain timber coming up to this machine factory. And then I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this steel mill. So we're going to ship coal from this uh, coal mine up here. We're gonna ship iron up here. And then the iron shipment will also bring steel back and we'll truck it over. I think that'll work. Let's just go ahead and do that. It actually didn't do too much to the terrain, which is nice. So now we'll connect that in, connect that in, and now we need to put a stop in here. So I'll probably do that one on this side right here. So we'll just go ahead and spin that around. Probably put it in like right there. So we'll have our entrance and our exit. And then we'll go ahead and connect these in and let's see if I delete that. It does weird things. I don't want it to do weird things. All right, so now this is going to be all in Dudley. We'll make it kind of a green color at lower Dudley. Wait for a full load forever. So this is gonna be a truck route. It's gonna be Dudley logs. And do I have, I do have a depot here, so I'll probably just use that. Let's see, we can transport logs on these flatbeds. So maybe I'll get six. We'll go ahead and throw them on that line. And now we need to figure out how to get the plain timber back up here. So one thing that we could do, I'm just gonna kind of straighten this up a little bit. So I'm gonna delete this road out. We'll connect that in there. We will clean this road up as well. Let me just see what the, uh, obviously we've got some terrain here. Yeah, a little bit of a hill. Quite a bit of a hill actually. That's okay though. Not much we could do about that. Can come through and just kind of clean that up just a little bit. And then I might have them take this left and go right up here. So let's see what our terrain looks like through there. Actually, probably not. That is a big hill. 
So what if I have them come down like this, in here, and then down? So this is going to kind of meander through here. Because I want them to kind of come like right here and then right down into there. Something like that. But these guys are going to go deliver. Let's see how this is doing. All right, yes. So he's got 85. That's great. That's awesome. 17 on there right now. Ship uh, Train coming in. So that's really good. All right, so let's take advantage of this money while we've got it. Kind of curve that around. And now where do we want this stop to be? I think if we put it right there and then kind of curve up this hill. How's that look? It's pretty cut in there, but it's it's okay. I think we can make that work. Um, yeah, I think we can make that work. So this is going to need two stops. And then we can get the line established delivering the timber in. We can definitely get more logs. Definitely more log vehicles. Look at that terrain. And that some wild terrain on this map. I don't know who made it, but he stinks. <laughs> um, perfect. So just now once we have a little bit more cash... Let's see how this is doing. So yeah, 59 are on there right now. Train's coming back in. So he should get a decent load again. I do think we really want to get another train on this line at some point. I'm just not sure. I'm going to have to play around with it and see how we can do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and establish this now. Connect that in. And now we can make a new line from platform two, where they will wait for a full load forever, all the way up here. And this is going to be a truck route, and this is going to be Dudley Timber. And we'll go with orange, dark orange. Cool. So now let's go ahead and get some vehicles on that line. These can move timber. So I might put six on the timber line. And then we're going to want more vehicles delivering logs as well. But now this should start to send timber, yep, to Dudley Machines Factory. Perfect. And we'll start to see it populate out there, which is great. How much did he leave with? 87? Perfect. I really want him leaving with a full load. And I also would love it if he didn't have to wait. So I guess we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll double this up. So I'll put a track. I'll probably come back to like there. And then branch it in. And then we're going to have to do a merge on the bridge, which I don't love the idea of. Yeah, so we're gonna have to grab it like right here. Yeah, 
to see that. It just doesn't work. So what if... What if we try and build this out a little bit? Out to like there. Let's see if I delete that out. So we'll build that out to there. And then if we take our bridge. I really hope that I didn't just break this completely. But I may have. Alright, so that works. And now let's bring our... We go right to there. And then we try and grab as close as we can. Yeah, that will work. And then we'll connect that in. So now we've got a double portion here. We'll need one-way signals here and here. And then here and here. That is going to need to be cleaned up. Although the rock looks good. I like the rock. Now we're going to need a set of double tracks going over here. So if I bring it out to there, and then bring this all the way around, and now I'm probably, I'll probably delete That merge is okay. I'll delete this. I'll delete all this out. So I'll delete this out to here. And then we'll redo that. And by getting a second train on here, I think that's going to help a lot. While we wait for some money, I will just come in here with some ballast. 100%. Just clean up this... cut through here a little bit all right so we got some money now so we'll bring this up and then I'll merge it in right there and now we need to bring this track back in so I'll bring it in right there and then this will merge in like that. Perfect. And now we don't need a one-way here. But we do need a one-way here. And here. And then we need a one-way here and here. Perfect. And now we can get another cargo train on that line. Before I forget, I'm just going to finish ballast work right here. And then I'm going to get rid of just a couple of these trees that are just a little close. Perfect. So now we can get two trains on here, and they should be able to operate pretty well. With this being the only block that they have to deal with. The question is, I think this has 13 cars on it. So it's got 84 capacity. How much is this going to cost? So I think we had the general on there. We also got the mogul earlier on. But we had the general on there and cargo. Let's see, what are we moving? So it had 84 capacity. 
So that's going to cost us three million. So I'll just bring that up to three. And now while we have this money, we did want to add more vehicles onto this logs line. So I'm just going to double those. See how 12 works. So now we have a train coming on here. And I'm probably going to stop him. Before he merges on. And now once that is on the bridge. Should be able to let him go and he should stop right here. Perfect. And now we'll have two trains on this line. And that should work really well. I'll be interested to see whether they get stopped at this junction or at this one. It's, I mean, they're definitely gonna get stopped at some point. Um, this line is just, it's a little too short and this block is a little too long for them to not get stopped. Uh, they might even get stopped here. If this guy gets going enough. Not sure, we'll see. But he's coming back now. Let's see how that line is performing. Uh, our biggest losers, crude, don't worry about that. Uh, bridge house. Farnborough Bridge House logs. Yeah, don't worry about that one either. Uh, and then just a couple of bus routes. Um, I am going to go in here. I'm just going to delete this line so that we don't see it. But then let's see. So the Redford to Honiton is doing well. The, Yeah, so they get stopped right here. Cool. All right. So, continuing on with our machines delivery, we're going to need to ship iron and coal all the way up here, which means a couple things. One is we're going to have to lift this bridge to get ships under here. Yeah, we're gonna have to lift that bridge. And truthfully, I might wait to do that in the next episode because it's going to be an extremely expensive project because we're gonna have to put a port in here, probably right here so it can go up like right through there, snake up and over. And then a port in here. I mean, we're, and then a port in here, we're looking at almost 2 million just for those ports. Um, and then the ships and then the trucks. So, and then lifting the bridge. It's gonna be very expensive for sure. Let's see, he's going back with 87. I'm really hoping that getting two trains on this line will help get more oil here. And I assume it will. Let's see, because he's got a full load coming up. He's also got a full load coming up. He might get through that block before he does, before he gets onto it. Who are they actually going to use the passing loop perfectly? I think they are. That's awesome. Neither of them had to slow down or stop or anything. And now this ship should always have a full load. Which is great because it's already making money. Alright, cool. Let's work on getting this rail line established. So if we come in here. I'm just going to pause real quick because we, we got a little bit of cash. So I think this is going to be a terminus station because I don't really see this going anywhere 
Like there's, I don't really see any reason to loop it up here. Maybe actually to spend any more. That would be ridiculous, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the option open. I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in a station that can pass through. All right, so we'll want a station. Let's say right there. And now we want to get a road in. Connect that road in like that. And then I, I would really love to connect in right here. It's just, it's gonna be really expensive to do. And then we are gonna have to shift this road. So we're going to need enough money to delete the majority of this road, lay the track, and then put the road back. So I'm guessing we're gonna need probably like a million and a half to do that, um, which we should be able to get in short order. I just got really excited to put a rail line in that runs all the way down here, jumping across these islands and going up to Spennymore. That'd be really cool, especially because the terrain is so steep over here. It would have to run like right along the edge. I think that would be a really cool rail line. Let's see how these are doing. So we got 50 passengers waiting here. This is fully loaded. I think these are doing great. So if we go to the line, we go to the finances, yeah. This line is doing really good which is great to see. How are our logs doing? I think our logs keep getting hung up at this crossing right here. That's okay though. Cool. And are these gonna use the block again? I think they're just gonna hit each other just a little bit. Yeah, just a little, just that little slowdown. Not terrible though. And then once he makes his delivery, I'll just go ahead and pause real quick. All right, so we got 600. So let's see how far we can get. I'm gonna do this in nice short sections. track is going to run down like this. Now let's put our road back in. Now we'll take a little bit more out. Probably right out to right up to there because the track is actually going to run around this. At least I'm gonna try. Because if we put our track in like that. Curve it like that. So now let's go ahead and connect this road back up. Trying not to disturb the terrain too much. Perfect. Okay, so now we'll come from this end. I'll probably back this all the way out to there. And now let's grab our track, let's go into our terrain. Okay, and where do we wanna go? So we wanna head out generally like that. I'm 
up here, and then we're gonna wanna curve into right here. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna delete this out. And now we're gonna have to figure out how we want to fix this road. So do I want the road to cut in front? Probably. So if we have the road cut right, right here. Misclicked there, uh, but I'm probably just gonna run with it. And we'll connect in like that. Okay, so our lines are fixed. We did sever this connection, um, but I really don't see any way that we can fix that. I mean, we could have, like, what what would an at-grade crossing look like right here? Yeah, that's... It's kind of ridiculous. Is there anywhere that an at-grade crossing wouldn't look terrible? That's not terrible, and then we could connect up into there. I don't know. This is a mess. I mean, that's even, that's like tearing right there. Um, but I'll fix that with some terraforming and some work probably off camera, because it's probably gonna be really expensive to fix. But at least now, we actually have our line established. So let's establish a new line. And like I said, I'm going to break this up now. So this is going to run into here. So this is going to be the rail line, and this is going to be Dudley to Coinsboro. And I'll probably make this uh, maybe a green color. And then on the Retford to Honnington line, I just want that to stop at Dudley. So now this is going to be Dudley to Honnington. And then on this line, after Dudley, you gotta go back to Retford. And I think we were having them wait for 60 seconds for a full load. Something like that. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reassign this train. So once he stops, let's see. Train three. Go onto that line. Perfect. Okay, great. What that does mean though is now there's only one train on this line. So we're gonna have to get another one on. But I just wanted to get one train onto this line for now. And then hopefully now what I can do is delete this line altogether. But before I do that, I wanna get a little bus circulator running through here. Let's do that while we have a little bit of cash. So we'll get a stop there. How far does that cover? Could probably get away with just one other stop. Maybe right here. And this is gonna be our Coinsboro. Coinsboro bus to train. 
Coinsboro bus to train. And at George Street, wait for a full load for 60 seconds. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto this line. And I'm going to grab two of those. Put them onto the bus to train. And then I'm going to sell all of these. And I'm going to delete that line altogether. Awesome. And let's see. While we have a little bit of money. I'm going to try and fix this a little bit. And I actually, I don't hate that. That's actually not terrible. Um, one thing that I am gonna do is I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come through here with a little bit of sand. And just kind of clean this up a little bit. Get rid of some of these trees. They're kind of encroaching down. I'll fix all of that off camera. Just a little bit. Clean that up. Alright, and now how is the terrain through this line generally? You could fix it in here. Definitely fix it here. Pretty much all along. Yeah, this definitely has to get fixed. Um, I'll probably even it out on this side, but then I'll probably do a stepped cut over here, like we did over on the other line. I think that that looks really good. So now let's see how this train is doing. Where's he at? He's going all the way back there. So he's only got 10. That's okay, though, because this is a new line, so it's going to take a little while for it to get established. But then one thing that I actually want to do is I want to upgrade this train because this now has a ton of capacity on it so i want to get a better train on there let's see how are these doing so these are going to pass in this loop which is great how's our ship doing he's got a full load and there's already a full load on the platform that's awesome to see these guys should pass each other just fine. No slowdown. That's great. And this actually looks pretty interesting, and I think we can uh, clean this up so that it looks pretty good. I'll probably just do rock all the way around, like it was intentionally built out like that. Let's see how we're doing for passengers. Good numbers. Very good numbers going down to uh, Coinsboro and over to Dudley. Huge numbers going from Coinsboro. That is great to see. I can actually go ahead and delete this stop. And if we come over here, this stop is still being used. Yeah, by the Ashby. The Ashby route. Oh, and truthfully, I should have just transferred those carriages that I just deleted onto that Ashby route. Ah, uh, that's what I should have done. Let me just fix this up just a little bit. Just clean this up just a little. I'll do a lot of this, uh, some of the more extensive stuff off camera. But then like what I'm planning is I'll come in here, delete a lot of these trees. probably do something like that. Make this just a little bit smaller. Yeah. 
something like that and then we'll kind of uh, clean this up on this side smooth out like this end smooth out that end and then put the uh, here. something like Do something like that. Now I'll let this run again, and then I'll come through here with the ballast. We'll throw in a bunch of ballast on this side. Like that. And then I'll probably even bring the ballast up here a little bit larger. And then just kind of run it right up that embankment right there. And then what I did on the last one was I actually went through here. I just put some grass through there. I think that looks really good. Nice stepped embankment on the side. And this is running with completely full passengers and there's already almost a full load over there. So the last thing I think we're gonna do, honestly, that's probably the last thing I think we're gonna do. Uh, we're kind of coming up on time here for the end of the episode. This is running full all the time, which is awesome to see. These trains are passing each other in the passing loops. Let's see if they can use this one. I think they can. I think they can do it with no slowdown. Which is going to be great. But um, I'm thinking the, the ride for today will definitely be that uh, Dudley to Coinsboro route. Oh, they didn't quite make it. All right. Either way. Thanks for sticking around, guys. This has been a great episode. I'm having a lot of fun making this series. And uh, if you guys are liking it, definitely like and comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Anything you want me to try out, do differently. Again, if anybody has any tips on the passenger shipping route, let me know. Uh, other than that, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.